we have already seen how to create simple model and also we have seen how to connect to the database and here i have just changed my file name to database.php okay so that i will not be having any issues okay now inside index.php i am having all these things i am having form i am having table everything i am having inside index.php itself okay so what i am going to do is here i am having this form okay you can see here my form starts okay i am just going to close this i will just copy this entire thing and here i am just going to create one file form.php and inside this i am just going to paste that one i will save this and from here i am just going to remove this one i will just save this one and now if i just refresh this you can see i will not be having any output here because now here i have just checked for the database connection okay now if i just remove this one okay because i have commented that one so it is not getting displayed but once i remove that the output will be displayed for me now when i click on this add new user button it is not going to work because i have just removed that entire form i have created separate file and i have inserted that entire code inside that new file okay now i need that one so for that we just have to include that file okay now here i'm just going to write this php syntax now here inside this i just want to include that one and i just want to include this form.php okay even you can do like this or you can just keep the form in the same index.php file okay i don't want to make my index.php file very lengthy so i'm just removing that one and putting in separate file i'll just refresh this now when i click on this you can see it is going to work and i will be having the same output okay without any change without any effect i will be having the same output okay now in the same way okay this is my form now below this i am having this one okay this let it be in the same index.php file now for table also i am just going to create separate file now here i am just going to write here table.php now inside this table.php this entire table i am just going to copy this entire table till here i am just going to copy and here inside this i am just going to paste that one i'll save this and from here i'm just going to remove that entire table i'll save i'll refresh this one now you can see table is not visible because i have not included that one so here i'm just going to write this php syntax and here i'll be including that one and i just have to include table.php file i'll save this now if i refresh this one you can okay i'm having this one require once fail to open no such file directory okay let me just check for the spelling here i am having table.php and inside this i am just including this one table.php let me just check for require once require once i'll save i'll refresh this one okay again i am having this error okay let me just change the file name let me just change it to tables uh, table data and inside index.php let me just write here table data i'll save this i'll refresh this one okay now here i'm having this table okay table okay that name is not been accepted so i was having this error once you change the name you will be having this output okay now here i'm having this table now pagination let it be later on we are going to remove this one and we are going to put pagination inside script.js okay using javascript we are going to access this one okay now we are having this table here let me just remove this one then we are having this add new user button and we are having everything now in the same way i just need one profile okay whenever i click on the profile i'll just come here whenever i click on this you can see again one model is been opened okay so for that let me just come to table.php and from here i'm just going to remove all these tds okay i'm just going to remove all that content i'll come here i'll refresh this one now instead of that i just need this three icons okay so for that inside this td i'm just going to create three anchor tags and inside each anchor tag let me just bring this down and inside this first anchor tag let me just come here and from here i'm just going to take this i i'll copy i'll paste here and next i'm just going to take this edit and here i'm just going to paste and finally i'm just going to take this trash and here i'm going to paste i'll save this now here i'm just going to refresh this one now you can see here i'm having this three icons view this one and this one fine totally three icons i'm having here now inside this anchor tag let me just write here h uh, hash then for each anchor tag i'm just going to give one class class let me just write here okay margin right of three because all are stuck i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see i'll be having some spacing now for this one 
for this i'm just going to give profile okay because i'm just going to view profile and for this i'll just give here edit user because here i'm just going to edit and finally for this one i'm just going to give here delete delete user okay you can give any class names okay you are not restricted to giving any class names and also inside this okay whenever i click on this one whenever i click on this anchor tag i'm just going to give here data target data target is equal to let me just give one target here uh, let me just write here user view model user view model and also i'm just going to give data toggle okay we have already seen while creating the model data toggle data toggle is nothing but our model i'll save this now here i'm just going to create one file i'll just write here profile.php and inside this let me just come to form.php i'm just going to copy this entire thing from here and here inside this i'm just going to paste that one and from here i'm just going to remove this now in place of this whatever i have given here whatever target i have given here i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste i'll save this and let me just check here i'll refresh now whenever i click on this profile okay it's not working let me just check for that okay now inside index.php i have not included that one so here i'm just going to include that file php include and here i just want to include this profile.php profile.php i'll just close this let me just come here i'll refresh now when i click on this you can see this model is getting opened but i don't need this model i need this kind of model here whenever i click i want this simple model here okay so for that let me just come here and from here i'm just going to remove this one and instead of this let me just write whatever i am having here i'll just come here okay here i am having user profile let me just write that one user profile and here and also i'm having one icon that is nothing but user i'll copy and here i'm just going to paste that one okay you can give any stylings and let it be same thing and from here i'm just going to remove this form and inside this model body i'm just going to remove all this all this input fields let me just close this left part and also from here i'm just going to remove all these things okay i don't need this one i'm just going to remove this one and instead of this i'm just going to create one div inside this one let me just give the class name as container and also i'm just going to give one id id let me just give here profile okay this will be very useful whenever we want to access this container using javascript now here inside this let me just write here h4 and here i'll be writing all uh, user data will be displayed will be displayed here and inside this footer let me just remove this one and let me just keep only close i'll save this and also i'm just going to remove this one closing form i'll save this one i'll come here i'll refresh this now whenever i click on this you can see this model is getting open simple model and here whatever data i am having whatever data i fetch from the database that should be displayed here i'll just close this one let us change this colors i'll just come to table data.php and from here for this i color let me just give here text text info and for this edit let me just write here text success okay you can give any colors and for this i'm just going to give here text danger i'll save this let me just check for the colors i'll refresh this one okay now here i'm having this colors let me just reverse the color here and let me just text success i'll be writing here and text info i'll be writing it here i'll save this and now you can see here i am having this proper colors and whenever i click on this this model is getting opened okay now inside this anchor tag we are having this href and for this we have just given the classes okay now inside this let me just give here title title is equal to uh, let me just write here view profile okay you can give anything and inside this anchor tag i am just going to give one title title is equal to edit okay i'll be telling you why we have to give this one title is equal to delete i'll save this i'll refresh this one whenever i hover on this here i'll be getting this option so for that i have just given that one let me just give here proper spelling title i'll save this i'll refresh this one now whenever i hover on this it is going to work and here i'll be getting this title 
now for this edit profile whenever i click on this that same model should be opened so for that inside this one inside this anchor tag inside the second anchor tag i am just going to give data target let me just write here data target data target is equal to the same model okay whatever i am having here the same form i am just going to copy this and here i am just going to paste that one okay data target i'll just paste that one here user model and finally i am having this data toggle and inside this i am just going to write here model i will save this i will refresh this one now whenever i click on this edit you can see the same model is getting opened now using id number okay whatever id i click on that one using that we are going to edit this one okay now this is getting opened okay this is all about a table okay we are having all these headings and we are having all this table data later on we are going to remove you don't have to worry about this let me just change it to table data here and also table data here using javascript we are going to access all these values and we are going to display the data okay this is just the template so that you don't get confused what we are doing okay let me just explain you again inside index.php we have just created simple heading and here i am having form.php and profile.php inside form and profile we have just created the model and here i am having this input search box and here i am having this add new button and for this add new button i have just given data target and data toggle below this i am having this table data and inside this table data we are having all the table okay entire table we are having and inside this last one we are having three anchor tags inside first two anchor tags i have just given the model target and finally for the last one i am just having this delete okay now below this we are having this pagination pagination also we are just going to remove from here and later on we are going to access this using javascript okay this is how we are going to separate our code and we are going to put in separate files so that we will be having much better idea what we are doing okay now here i'm just going to close all the files i'll just close close to the right